Hello, and welcome to another video. <laughs> I hope you like my setup today. I'm pretty excited about it. I actually love what's going on over here. This is actually one of my old bed sheets. Might look a little shoddy today, but you know, maybe next time I'll go and iron. We'll see. Today is another skills video. I'll be showing footage of my last skills session and critiquing it, going through to see what I could have done or what I should have done to make it better, either smoother or to land the trick if I didn't land it. This video ended up taking me a little bit longer to put out because these last couple weeks were a little bit rough. I had a flare up in my lower back if you know me, then you know that I had a pretty bad injury, back injury back in 2013, and the repercussions from that injury still haunt me to this day. Basically, I just feel a lot of pain periodically in my lower back. It was super painful. I kept waking up in the middle of the night, not being able to go back to sleep and just feeling wrecked, totally wrecked throughout the rest of the day because of lack of sleep and also pain. So anyway, this week's video was supposed to be about back bending skills and I was so excited for it because in this last year that I've started training calisthenic and cooperator skills again, I have improved immensely and one area that is for sure an area to note is back bending skills. In my head I pictured like this redemption video where I'm like running up these stairs with this Rocky Balboa music going in the background and I'm like, yeah! The fact that I've been able to get back into these skills is absolutely awesome and I love it. I kept waiting for my back pain to die down so I could film this video because I knew from previous skills sessions that my back bending skills have come a long way. But the pain was taking so long to subside, at one point I thought, I just have to scrap this video entirely. Anyways, I'm totally fine now. It's completely gone away, but I am doing active physical therapy for it. So because I have substantial injuries, that changes a lot how I train. I'll have great weeks where I'm progressing a lot, weeks where I aggravate my injury, weeks where my back hurts unrelated to athletics. This pain could be induced from work stress, lack of sleep, or bloating. Cheese is my nemesis. And those are just some of the reasons. Injuries make it difficult, incredibly difficult, but not impossible for most cases. Although I did once see a kid do a handspin in a wheelchair while he was in his wheelchair. Are you imagining it? Inspiring, huh? Oh yeah. So you may be thinking, what did I film? And unless the thumbnail gave it away, that's a really good question. It probably wouldn't be interesting if you watched 10 minutes of me just lying on a couch with an ice pack, would it? Many months later. So actually, the footage that I have today to review is from two days. The first day is from when the pain started to die down, and then the second bit of footage is from the following day. And I'm gonna review it, what I was doing, what I was thinking, and I'll take you through my mental state and strategies on how I continue my training, even though I just had a mini setback. Okay, let's get into it. I didn't realize the wind was going to affect the audio so much, and it's basically unintelligible. Which might actually be pretty good because the wind was doing crazy things to my hair and it was so bright my eyes were pretty much closed the entire time. Might have been a blessing in disguise. My lower back popped on like the first one. It felt so good. Nothing's quite as satisfying as when your back pops. I actually used to, when my abs were really strong back in the day, I could flex my abs and pop my spine. Just to give you an idea of how strong I was before my back injury. Hi everyone, welcome back to another video. The next stretching exercise was kind of like a cat, what is it called, cat cow, cow cat? Cat cow exercise, but it's even more awkward to do because your head has to be touching the ground so your butt is even higher up in the air. I'll just skip showing that one. Man, this exercise was so tiring. It 
looks really simple and it was really simple like the first couple sets but by the third set i was i was hurting this exercise took a long time <laughs> it's because i did 10 reps on each leg in all four directions three times so that's 10 times four times three times two which is 240 leg slides which is a lot and it took me a bit of time check that form though this exercise is just a really great full body exercise. I could feel it in my butt, my hamstrings, my quads, my core. For a back injury, the PT that you need to do is strengthening your entire body, which is kind of exhausting because each muscle has to be both strong and mobile so your back doesn't take so much of the pressure. I'm up for the challenge though because I don't mind all the activity. <laughs> Even my calves were tired doing this. For the type of activity that I like to do, where it's very intense for your body, I just have to be freaking strong. <laughs> I just have to be strong everywhere. My entire body needs to be strong and mobile. And that is the key to how, if I'm going to get all of these skills down, I'm gonna have to do that. But I'm up for the challenge. The next physical therapy exercise was almost a pistol squat but not quite. So this is a regular pistol squat. I had to include it in for pride reasons because I know I can do a pistol squat. I can do five of them in a row now, which is awesome because a year ago I couldn't even do one. But that doesn't matter because my physical therapist is going for endurance. So he demoted me to this partial pistol squat while holding a door frame or a wall, or in this case, a goal post. But I had to include that I can in fact do a pistol squat. <laughs> and the last exercise to do was glute bridges, which I now realize going through the footage that I completely forgot to do. You try your best. At this point, I was feeling really good and wanted to try and attempt a mini skill session. This is something that my physical therapist actually highly encouraged. So I got into it. This is me warming up. This is me warming up in fast mode. I look crazy. Run girl, run! Jumping jacks, yeah. That's a lot of high knees. Those skater jumps actually look pretty good. Wow burpees in super speed mode. So after warming up and stretching, I was ready to do a mini skills workout. I just wanted to try out a couple skills to see how stable I felt. Had to start off with a handstand. It's been a while since I've done some handstands. Like it's actually been about maybe like two months. Handstands were something that I had gotten pretty good at, but I definitely needed more work at it to perfect it. And I probably shouldn't have taken that much time away from it because they're definitely not as consistent now. Definitely not hitting one every single time. And I can actually tell with these handstands right here that I'm not kicking as hard with my lifting leg because I'm afraid it'll pull on my hamstring, which will pull on my back because they're both connected. So the two are just so tightly coupled. It's a little frustrating sometimes. Sometimes I wish they just, you know, like, take a break from each other, a little divorce, you know, but whatever. And because of that, I'm not kicking up as high and I'm trying to bend my heel to compensate for my weight being pushed still so far away from me. Yeah, it doesn't work. So even though this handstand session didn't go very well, like I did hit a couple good handstands, but they weren't nearly as consistent as they were before. I actually don't even know what this is called. It's a corporate move, but I don't know if it has a name. I can tell I wasn't very confident about this one. And this is something that I've done a million times, a lot before my injury and also in the last couple months. And I haven't really had an issue with it, but this is probably the worst I've ever done this skill. <laughs> I, I didn't have any pain at this point. I was feeling good, but I was just nervous. And I can tell that when switching onto my left hand, I'm not pushing very hard. You can see how it's kind of bent. And that's because I'm trying to prevent my back from bending, even though I know in my head that I should let it bend, I should, you know, try it out and see how it feels. But because of that, I don't land the trick. I land on my butt. <laughs> Let's see if I do it a little bit better this time. A little bit better, but at least I didn't flop on my butt. So for this move, it requires two points of flexibility, my shoulder and my back. 
And depending on the person, they may put more emphasis on one junction point than the other. I've seen people do it like almost completely off of their shoulder, which looks awesome. Now I'm past my injury as I'm relearning these skills. I've learned to take a percentage of that emphasis off and move it to my shoulder instead. And because of that, one, I think it looks better. I, I think it looks stronger. And because of that, you can also stall in a really interesting shape. I can tell going through the footage that I'm getting more confident the more I do and pushing a little bit more through that arm. But still, I need to push more. Trust yourself. You're strong. You can do it. Trust your body. Okay, the audio is so bad in here, so unfortunately I can't play it for you. But at this point I show you how to jump a fence. I think to reiterate succinctly, when you're trying to jump a fence, don't be a scrub. Think about all your options. One, two, three, jump! I believe this technique is called the lateral shimmy. And that, friends, is how you do it. Although I do have to know, ladies, all the many ladies out there watching the YouTube videos on how to get a bodacious booty, keep in mind there's pros and cons to everything. Thank you for watching and for those of you who have stuck around this far, you guys are awesome. This is part one of a two-part video series, part two, where I'll be training the five backbending skills that I had originally wanted to put in this video will be the upcoming skills video. So stick around for that video. Make sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss it when that video gets published. And hopefully it'll be the redemption video that I had originally envisioned.